Okay, so you want to make some musical sound effects for your video game, but you don't want to have to learn a really complicated program like uh, uh, Fruity Loops or Ableton or Reaper or any of that shit, and you don't want to have to pay lots of money or any money whatsoever. So here are some mostly free programs that are easy to use. All right, quick fire round. Uh, Audacity, Bosca Sea Oil, Fam Studio, Pico 8, uh, Audacity again. All right, let's explain them. All right, Audacity, great tool. Probably most likely a program you've already used before. Uh, free, easy to use. If you have a microphone, you can use it for voiceovers, just like how I'm doing now. Uh, it also has some effects, like you can uh, use different effects like echo, distortion, phaser, reverb, all that stuff, just like you would find on, like, say, a guitar pedal. You could also use it for Foley work, so recording sound effects, like, say, keys jingling, or doors opening and closing, or just knocks and stuff. Here's a really cool and easy tool to use in Audacity, called the Pulse Stretch Effect. We're just gonna do it to this piece of audio. Ah. Check it out, really cool effect, isn't it? Alright, so what if you want to make more music for, like, say, a retro-style game? Uh, say more in the lines of, like, something like Doom, or an N64-style game? Well, here is Bosca Sea Oil. Pros, it's completely free and pretty easy to use. Cons, it's not really being updated anymore, but it's still really good. It's a really simple and powerful software for making, uh, really cool music. Let's just check it out. It's a very simple program that once you first open it, it just immediately starts playing. You can just uh, put, put in your notes by just clicking or dragging, and you can uh, easily uh, swap out instruments and add more. And you can pretty much do this indefinitely. Just keep going and adding more instruments and more sounds as you go along. It can, uh, you can export in both WAV and MIDI, which is really good, but mostly you'll probably just be using uh, WAV. Okay, so let's say you like the idea of making retro style music, but you're making a full on 8 bit NES style video game. Alright, so you want to use Fam Studio, a program designed for making music for the NES. This is probably one of the more complicated programs on the list that's going to take some time getting, uh, getting a grasp of the program and actually learning it. But you can get some sound effects out of it pretty easily. Here is a really simple song that I made. Okay, so let's say you want to make an 8-bit style video game, but you don't really know where to start. Well, Pico 8 is definitely the program for you. You can use this for the entirety of the game. You can use it for making sprites, the actual level design, and the code itself. And it's full on 8-bit. But the main thing we're here for is the sound effects. So this is the only program on the list that's not free, but it's still a very powerful tool and a game engine itself. So we're just going to look at the actual sound effects. You can essentially just draw in the actual waveform and then have a few different options from there. Exporting the actual WAV file itself can get a little bit tricky, but once you get a little used to the program, you'll be fine at doing it. Alright, on to number 5. What's number 5? Audacity, again. What do you mean again? Well, this is the other one that's going to cost you some money. Buy an instrument. 
as in like say like a, a keyboard or something. I was a little bit stupid and bought myself a guitar and a bass. Uh, I got them quite a while ago and I haven't really used them so I've been trying to use them recently. Now why do I say get a keyboard? Well you can get them pretty cheap second hand. Find them at like second hand shops and op shops and stuff like that. And keyboards will normally, like electronic keyboards I mean, like piano style keyboards, they generally have a, a bunch of different settings. So you know, guitar, uh, bells, uh, piano itself, and a whole bunch of different cool stuff. So getting an instrument will be the easiest way to learn how to make music and sound effects. Uh, it will take some time and when you first get it you're probably not going to be that good at it. Uh, but you can still get some pretty cool sounds out of it. And if you record stuff you can make some pretty easy sound effects right away. Okay, onto the instruments I got. I've got a bass, and then I've plugged it into some effects pedals. You know, just a distortion pedal, then into a phaser, which is like a type of modulation pedal, and then a delay, which I'm sure you know what a delay and distortion pedal are. And then it's going into an amp, so just like a, a default bass amp, and then out of that, I've got it plugged into my good old CRT TV, which gives it a really, really shitty sounding lo-fi noise. I've noticed that just doing stuff like that with my bass and my guitar just being plugged into my uh, CRT TV, I can make some really cool and eerie sounding ambient effects. So I've just been messing around with that. So I really like the cool lo-fi sounding uh, bass tones that I'm getting whenever I have the bass plugged in and playing out of the CRT. So my idea was to record just a bunch of different uh, ambient style effects and maybe upload them to itch or something like that. 